What's up, everyone? Zane Sonic back once again for some more Vegas Stakes. Last we left, we got introduced to the main strip. Hold on, I got to change the sound back. Damn it. Yes, I'm not editing this out. Alright, back to Vegas Stakes. Now, there's one thing I want to cover in this, and yes, my money did change. I did a little bit of grinding off, off screen, but it's not that much. Let's continue. <laughs> this episode, we're going to head to the Golden Paradise. This is where our hotel is. And also where you can make most money. But more on that later. Pretty much the only thing that's different from all the casinos is, is the amount of money you can spend in the music. That's about it. Now I want to talk to you guys about a certain thing. A certain thing called random encounters. Now you might be thinking, what the hell are random encounters doing in a freaking gambling game? Well, it's a, it's a weird thing to explain. There's 12 different encounters, and that depends on what kind of thing, what kind of game you're playing. I think for, I think for slots, all 12 of them can happen. One of them is, a woman asks to fix the machine, and you say yes or no. Typically, you want to say yes every time because there's always money in the machine, and you always get it. I'm going to turn down the volume just a tad. Turn it down just a bit. The second random encounter is the emergency room visit when you ask someone when someone asks you to take them to the emergency room. And two things can happen. Either they give you a bunch of money or they take about half of it. So it's a lose win situation. A bit half and half, kinda. The third is if someone asks like if they say, like, if their child has an operation and they need money for it, it's the same thing as the emergency room thing. You can either get money from it, or it gets taken away from you. Typically, I... <laughs> I would ask you to play this on an emulator because you have no way of knowing what's going to happen and what's, and what, what's gonna bite you in the ass. Down my luck, would you like to purchase my lottery ticket? The payoff is $10,000. Cost $1,000. And this brings up another one. The lottery ticket. Someone will ask you to buy a lottery ticket from you, and I will. I believe it's always a winner, but I'm not completely sure. I'm not 90%. I'm not completely sure about it. Ring running number is 98955. Yep. We win some money! And we're up to $10,000 already. That's where you're gonna make your most money. Yes, not by gambling. Well, not in the same sense as playing the games, but... But by helping people out. That's where you make your most money. What the hell, game? It just comes right out of left field. Anyway, back to the random encounters. Number five is someone coming up to you and asking you to buy a watch from them. I'd say say yes to them whenever they want to sell it. They they usually sell it for like two hundred bucks, and, and afterwards someone always comes by and, and asks for a higher value, like two hundred plus more. So always buy the watch. Number six is like is something I like to call the diamond scheme. Someone comes by and asks you if they want to buy a di if you want to buy a diamond from them. This usually goes for like five thousand dollars they want from it. Do you remember them? Yeah, I've seen your face before. This is another one. If you remember them, they. They give you money for just remembering them. Game interrupts me. Damn it. So that's another one. I believe we're up to number eight now. Since the game likes to interrupt me with random ones. 
Anyway, number eight, lost wallet. When you see a wallet, it usually always has a thousand dollars in it, and you have a choice and either turn it into the office or hold on to it. Ah, uh, yes. Appreciate it, sir. You're gonna give me two thousand more dollars. Damn! I'm in, I'm winning more from the people than I am from the flipping game. So yeah, it's up to you whether you want really want. Watermelons! Watermelons is one of the higher, the higher combinations of slots. It's not terribly high, but it is. It doesn't show up too often. Damn. Anyway, number nine is gonna be. Number nine is gonna be kind of odd, considering people ask you to put money on like a game. They want to add in their money to the game. It's a bit weird. You don't see it too often, but it's good to look out for. Typically, I'd I'd say no t to letting them bet on the game. It really doesn't do anything for you, but it's really up to you guys. The next one's gonna be someone asking if you want to invest in oil drilling business. It's as weird as it sounds. It's really up to you if you want to do it or not. The payout can be kind of good or kind of not. Yes, you look familiar. Now hand over another $2,000. Always be nice, people. Always be nice. So again, if you're playing this on an emulator, you're not going to be in much of a spot, considering you can just rewind to to the decision beforehand and change your change your um change your choice to the opposite and see what happens. But yeah, it's it's weird. The next one is going to be someone asking to hang around with you. Someone asks, hey, can I hang around you for a bit? And a choice will say, be careful, they look like a pickpocket. And they usually are. You can, you can choose between either letting them hang around you or just showing them away. Just tell them to go screw their mother, whatever. Not like that, sorry. But, yeah, you tell them to, to go away or to have them hang around you. Would you like me to kind of... Yeah, sure, go ahead. And then leftover credits in there. A free five bucks. Nothing wrong with that. Typically, I don't let anyone hang around me because I'm kind of a bastard that way, but... Yeah, I don't let them hang around because it's a bit too suspicious. And the last one is going to be similar to the hanging, ar hanging around uh, random encounter. It's when someone asks you if they say that you got a stain on your shirt. And they want, and they say, ooh, can I clean it for you? Now, it's the same thing as the hanging around at random encounter. Can you say... Ooh, maybe this guy is a bit suspicious, or you can say, yeah, right, go right ahead. But that can also bite you in the ass. They can either, I believe, give you a lottery ticket, which is always a winner, or they can pick your pocket. And I don't want my pocket picked. I desperately need some cash. Would you like this diamond? I guarantee it's quite a lot. I ain't buying that damn thing. And they always try to have you be like, Oh, just wait a minute. How about, how about this amount? Or how about this amount? I don't want it. Yeah, it's a real pity. Get the hell out of my face, jackass. Yeah, but that's... That's that's all the random, random encounters. There's 12 of them. You can only imagine how much of a pain that is when you're deciding, Ooh, should I let this person hang around with me? Or should I tell this person to go F off or whatever? You just never know what's going to happen. It's just a big pain in the ass. I know I spent the last like 10 minutes playing slots, but it's really the biggest money maker I know. Especially at the Golden Paradise. 
And another thing I forgot to mention, once you hit $100,000, you get something called High Roller Status. In the final casino, the Laurel Palace will finally reveal itself. But that's going to be a long ways away. A very long ways away. Oh, you motherfucker. You're around with you for a way to beat it, you loser. I'm just going to try someone else. Jackass. Trying to pickpocket me, you mofo. Do a few more runs and then I'll shut it off for the net. At least they have somewhat upbeat music. I mean, it's not like it's droning on me or anything, but... Eh, it's somewhat memorable, but holy crap, the whole thing fill, filled up. Alright, maybe if I get to 600, I'll quit. Triple cherries. Or maybe one more random encounter. Well, I'm only down to like three minutes, so I better hurry my ass up. I know I don't have a time limit on it or anything, but whatever. I'll stop now. I earned enough money today. Quit this game. Let's head back to the room. Yes, 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 I know I earned that much. And I believe that's going to do it for this episode. So, next time, let's play Vegas Stakes. We'll head over to the 2020 and see if our luck continues. See you guys later.